Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say that free ways of supporting the channel are by hitting the like button below and hitting the subscribe button. And non-free ways are by signing up to the Patreon, which will be linked below. So today we're going to talk about a song, and this is a big statement to make, but I think that this is the most loved Irish song of all Irish songs in history. From my experience, when you ask any Irish person what's the most beautiful or heartbreaking Irish song of all time, they all say this song. This song is called Grace and it was written in 1985 by brothers Sean and Frank O'Mara. And this song was written about the tragic events of Grace Gifford who married her fiance Joseph Mary Plunkett just hours before his execution. Their marriage and Joseph's execution both happened in Kilmainham Jail in Dublin in 1916, just after the 1916 Easter Rising. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's have a quick chat about who Grace and who Joseph were. So at the time in 1916, Joseph Mary Plunkett was 28 Eight years old. He was a journalist and a poet from Dublin City. Joseph came from a fairly wealthy background and he actually studied in England but he came back to Dublin in 1909 and studied in UCD and graduated from there. During the 1916 Rising, Joseph Mary Plunkett was appointed Director of Military Operations. Joseph actually suffered from ill health basically all of his life and just a few days before the Rising happened he came down with tuber. He actually came down with glandular tuber tuberculosis. That's hard to say. Glandular tuberculosis. You'd know I didn't study in UCD. So because Joseph was so sick before the 1916 Easter Rising happened, he was actually given assistance by a young volunteer from the Irish Republican Brotherhood. And who was this young volunteer? Michael Collins. So Michael Collins actually played the part of Joseph's aide-de-camp during the 1916 Rising, which is crazy. This was before Michael Collins was the man Michael Collins. He wasn't really known at this stage. So let's talk about Grace. Grace was also 28 years old at the time. She was an artist and a cartoonist. She grew up in Rat Mines in Dublin. She actually grew up with a Catholic father and a Protestant mother. So the girls in their family were brought up as Protestants and the boys were brought up as Catholics. So technically Grace was actually a Protestant. So this would have been quite unusual at the time, I guess, for Joseph Mary Plunkett, a really strong Irish Republican man, to marry a Protestant woman. So let's talk about how Joseph and Grace met. So Joseph's best friend was a man called Thomas McDonough. Thomas McDonough was also executed after the 1916 Rising for being one of the leaders of it. So Joseph's best friend Thomas was married to Grace's sister and that's how Grace and Joseph actually met. They actually met at the opening of a bilingual school in Dublin. Right, so just after the 1916 Easter Rising on the 3rd of May 1916, Thomas McDonough was executed in Kilmainham Jail and Grace got the news that Joseph was to be executed the following morning. When Grace got the news that Joseph was going to be executed, she went to a jeweler's in Dublin City, bought a ring and she actually persuaded a priest to get around the British military to let them get married in Kilmainham Jail before he was executed. So Grace and Joseph got married in Kilmainham Jail just hours before Joseph was executed on the 4th of May 1916 at dawn. And this is essentially the story of Joseph Mary Plunkett and Grace Gifford. You should really look through the lyrics of this song written by Sean and Frank O'Mara. The lyrics are absolutely incredible. And I think that's why it has such a massive effect on Irish people. It's the story behind what this song is about and also Sean and Frank O'Mara wrote some of the most incredible lyrics for this song. Really, I really recommend going reading through them. This song, like many other Irish songs, have been covered by many artists. To be honest with you, my favourite cover of this song is by Jim McCann. And this was the story of Joseph Mary Plunkett and Grace Gifford, which inspired the great Irish song, Grace. As I said earlier in the video, if you want to support the channel, I'll have my Patreon linked below. It would mean the world to me. If not, please hit the like button below. Drop a comment below of what song you want me to break down next. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, lads. So we must say goodbye.